morning, Rinconians. I want to just show you what we got done yesterday. Started on the fenders. Here's the one that's just mocked up with the spacers on it. I did attach one late yesterday. All right, I've got the right side fender on and I'm just about ready to start welding. I've uh, bolted it on, but uh, I want to get a little support down low. So I got a little bracket there under the frame. And then this is what I was talking about, the um, little step here. My concern was not to, it, you know, to be convenient and yet not in the way. I think by the time you get close enough, you're not going to hit your shin on that trying to get in the door. And yet I think it's a good place to be able to step up if you need to check out the rack or the roof. So anyway, let's see how good my welding is today. And uh, we'll get that. What, what, um, my plan is to get it welded onto the fender really good. Maybe just tack it. Hmm, I don't even know if I need to tack it on the frame. Because so I want to be able to take it off, take the fender off, and paint it up. Because that's just raw steel. So that's the plan. Let's see what happens. All right, I wanted to show you the rack that I've chosen. This is a, some, a rack that's designed for vans. Uh, you know, the older style van that has gutters. And basically this would fit in the gutter of the van and then you have this little clip underneath here that would hook underneath and bolt up through. So, you can see here I've just cut that piece off because I don't need it. I just need this flush plate that's going to bolt on the side of my teardrop. And then of course the... Uh, the rack part. I notice this got a get a bend. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is sand these up and paint them black. Let me just show you um, how I think this is going to work. These here are going to basically go on here like this. So I just need to bolt through. Now I'll get this to go down as low as I can. Uh, I just need that the, the rail across the top to just clear the roof. And now for the solar panel to sit on it. I also need to get this low enough to bolt through. I, just, I, I think I was talking about it before. It's hollow in here. That's where the spars are. And I'd like to be able to catch inside the cabinet. And right here in the cabinet, it's uh, extra thick. It's got another piece of uh, plywood there. So that would be an extra uh, places to bolt through to. And I'll have to do a spacer to get beyond this. Um... So that's what we're doing now. Okay, I don't know if this is the prettiest thing, but I think it'll work. I've got my um, roof rack mocked up. I had to figure out the layout to get it bolted through. I don't know if you can see this here, but let me Turn the light on, just squeaked by, see how close that was. But in some ways that's good, it's up and out of the way. So that's the first set. And uh, I just wanted it to be just slightly above the roof line, which it is. And let me just show you how I got my offset. I uh, took a piece of aluminum, I had some nice, you can see it was from a sign, pretty thick, uh, to space it out past the uh, molding here. So this will, this will sit in here like that, so you can see how it spaces it out. All right, we got the back. Rack on, mocked up I should say. It's not tightly bolted, but 
enough to know that the layout is right. Look at how close I got that. So the, um, the panel should fit on there just fine. Uh, get my rack painted black. You can see here. I uh, started to put on molding uh, inserts. That's the, the little rubber. Like here, I got the covers all the screws. It's just a piece of plastic here. I'll show you. It's the same as this. It comes in a roll, the vinyl. And you just pop it in like this. But that takes some work. That just gives us the finish. Got this one in. I gotta trim it. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. So I got the other door to do. I got the other moldings to put on. Basically, I want to get all the stuff done around here so that I, once the uh, rack dries enough, we're gonna install that because the other project is to get the panel bolted on. And for some reason, I think that's gonna be a bit of a trick to get my hand up in there and get it uh, the screw you know like uh, i gotta drill a hole in the in the rack and it's all gotta line up anyway we'll get to that i'm sure um i'll bring you back as we continue our progress well it's been a while since i've done any videoing i've been kind of feeling under the gun and just kind of moving ahead uh, but what do you think? So I got my toolbox all together. Just gotta bolt it on. Everything's cocked. Got my panel. Just gonna bolt it on. That's all ready to go. Attached my. I don't know what that is. They call it a cover. So you, um, watertight connection down through the roof. Got my batteries hooked up. Got my tank on. Got my fenders on. Today I'm just gonna do my welding. Got my marker lights, another marker light, this fender. And as you notice, it's raining out. So one of the big issues that I had is I've got, uh, this is the tail light that I wanted to mount here. I thought it'd be easy enough just to bolt it on, you know, screw it on, but. I welded that big plate behind this sort of heavy duty steel behind that. So, you know, I need to make space for that little hole there and all that. And then I thought, oh, I'll put it on the fender, which will fit. But I don't like the idea of, um, you know, you got to cut a hole for that. And I just get all crapped up with, you know, mud and stuff. So I spent the morning fabricating these. Or the uh, to hold the tail light out, and basically that gives me the space I need. The other thing I, I wanted to do is to cover up this this hole here. I don't know why why that's there, but anyway, that goes on like that. It'll cover the hole, and it will uh, allow space for the the light. I think that looks pretty good, especially down there. It's nothing fancy, but anyway. So, we're coming right down to the wire. I wanted to have left by now, but um, uh, all things considered, it looks like maybe Monday. Today's Saturday. is a Sunday to get things cleaned up. But today, I, I should be good with this, and then um, start packing. <laughs> all right, everyone. I'll keep you in the loop.